Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm happy that you're here because it's time for another Outfits of the Week. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to Park Avenue. My name is Ashley Park and I have tons of fashion content. I mean, you can check out some of my playlists. I have unboxings. I do Outfits of the Week every single Sunday. And if you wanna check out that playlist, I'll link it here in the cards. But when you find something you do like, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss any of my uploads. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it because it lets YouTube know that you wanna see more of my content and you'll see more of me on your timeline and your notification bells will actually work <laughs> because there has been um, times in the past where the notifications haven't worked. So just make sure your notification bells are turned on and working so that way you don't miss anything. Okay, so before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know that everything you need is in the description box. You guys can check out all the links to everything that's still available. And anything that isn't available, I always try to link something similar if I can find it. If not, I'll link like an alternative or I'll just try to put the information for the item if it's not available anywhere or I can't find anything similar for it. And you guys can find me everywhere that I am available in the description box. You can find me on Instagram. You can find um, my Pinterest. You can find my Facebook group if you decide you wanna join the Facebook group as well. And I've also recently joined Patreon. So I'll have that link in the description box as well if you guys wanna take a look at some of the different tiers or packages that I offer on Patreon. And that way you guys can help support my channel in a different way. And I also recently joined Clubhouse. So if you guys are on Clubhouse, then follow me or check me out on Clubhouse. I'm actually gonna be think gonna be starting like some rooms and figuring out some ways that we can chat and interact on Clubhouse as well. So follow all the links in the description box. If you guys wanna check out my closet sale, I'll have that link in the description box as well. So that's enough chatter, let's get into these outfits. Here's the first look I wanna show you guys and I'm loving this one because it's a classic black and white look, but it has a lot of fun elements. So this blazer is half of a short suit that I showed you guys in a Zara haul that I did a while back. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the cards. But I wore that suit like on New Year's Eve, the shorts with the combat boots. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen it in my stories. If not, then I'm sure I'm gonna repeat it again because it was such a cute outfit. But anyway, here's the blazer, really cute. It's giving me like tweed Chanel um, vibes. It's a really nice blazer. It has like a tailored effect to it. And these blazers, these double breasted blazers from Zara have a few colors in them. And there are um, a couple of different fabrics available too. I know they have the faux leather, which I didn't keep, but the fit was really nice on it. I have it in um, like a camel color, navy, and I think I have it in black. I have a few colors. And then this one I got because it had the textual difference. And to be honest, I really got it because it came with the short. I mean, it didn't come with the shorts, but <laughs> it was a part of a set and I love sets. So I think it's really nice that I also am able to break them up. So this blazer has that really tailored effect, like almost like a mom vibes, you know? And then I added my Dior brooch, which I add to a lot of pieces because I think it just really elevates things. It gives it another level of interest. It just steps it up and any excuse to add more embellishment and jewelry to my looks, I'm here for it. I'm also wearing a Zara um, short sleeve turtleneck. I love these. And they recently added two new colors I saw on the website. They have it in fuchsia and like a lilac color, which I'm loving. So I put them in my cart, we'll see, I might get those. Then for my pants, I'm also wearing some Zara pants. These are the Zara high waist trousers that they have in a few colors. They have them in black, they have them in navy, tan. I think they had them in like a pale pink. They had them everywhere. I also have them in a plum color, but the zipper actually broke on those. So I'm gonna have to get them fixed. And it's real a real bummer because I haven't made it to the tailor yet. And then on my feet, my new shoes. I got these shoes from Dillard's. They're by Gianni Beanie. And I think it's a Dillard's specific brand. I've never seen Gianni Beanie anywhere else but Dillard's. And I hope they're still available by the time this video goes up because these are so cute, you guys, so cute. They're a calf hair, so they have a, like an actual texture to them. They're visually very interesting because of the zebra print and they're black and white, so they're neutral. And again, here we go with the interesting neutrals. They really give the outfit a pop, but they keep things really classic. So that's a great way to introduce like prints and patterns into your wardrobe. If you're afraid to do something like that, then stick to neutral colors, but interesting prints. It can really take your looks to, to the next level if you feel like you're not, you know, if you don't have enough pizzazz in your looks or a lot of interest, if you wanna just change them up a little bit. And then I'm wearing my patent leather box bag. I got this from Marshalls 
a very long time ago but i love this bag because i often add like my louis vuitton bag strap or any kind of you know extra embellishment to it to elevate it but to be honest on its own it looks really expensive that's why i got it in the first place and the bag was not even 200 dollars. if you watch my channel you've seen this bag often and i'm literally never going to get rid of it unless i got like a lady dior or something like that that's the only reason i can see myself letting go of this bag because then i would have two of the of the same silhouette unless i got like a lady dior in a different color then i would keep this black one but even if i have any issues with the handles i'm gonna take it and get repaired and keep it in good condition because it's a really nice bag so if you ladies come across a nice bag that's really inexpensive consider like the upkeep like if you see the handles are starting to like wear show some wear and tear anywhere on the bag really take it to get um fixed up there's a place in Georgia called Santana Creative that I go to. It's in Atlanta. They have a location in Buckhead. They have a location in New York. And I think they have a location in Houston. But I'll leave it in the description box. You can actually even mail things to them if you don't even live in, like, if you don't live where they have a location, you can mail things to them. Because I think all the locations mail things out to, like, a main headquarters or something anyway. But long story short, love this. This entire look, I am loving very comfortable if i needed to i can walk around easily comfortably in this outfit these pants are stretchy and they have a nice high waist i've worn these a ton and i definitely recommend the black pair if you guys are considering any color at all if you only can get one obviously get the black pair because it'll go a lot further in your wardrobe but all the colors are really nice one thing i will say about these and i've talked about it before is that if you have any imperfections let's say like cellulite or if you're whatever you got going on it's going to show in these pants in the lighter colors unless you want to wear some sort of like undergarment personally i only like to wear undergarments with like dresses and skirts but i'm actually exploring the idea of like those ones that are like pants almost they're like a little bit longer they come to your ankle you can do stockings under there under your pants if you wanted to some sort of a liner that mimics a pant lining because a lot of these inexpensive pants don't have liners so that's cool but love this look I think it's a lot of fun, but still really classic. So if you're going into the office, this is a perfect outfit. And I'm gonna show you these shoes style a different way in another outfit too. So check it out later. So here's the next look. Love this one because I've been really wanting to incorporate these sweater vests. I have a couple of them and I haven't really worn them. So this actually worked out really perfectly. This one is from Banana Republic. It feels really, really nice, really soft, really plush. Love that. And then underneath, I'm wearing this long sleeve plain t-shirt from White House Black Market. And I think they always have these. These are really good basics. And I just realized I had this one for years. I didn't even realize that. So I'm thinking I need to like get a couple more because these are have been really, really essential, I would say, in my wardrobe for like layering. And then for my jeans, I am wearing my Unifit jeans from Lucky Brand. I love these. Absolutely love these. They're so comfortable and they're perfect for tucking into boots so comfortable and so perfect for tucking into boots and i said that twice because i haven't found a pair of jeans this comfortable in a really long time that i was able to tuck into my jeans that isn't a pair of leggings so i really like these and then on my feet i'm wearing my zara combat boots that i have really been obsessed with these boots are really comfortable and they came in handy the other night um it was raining like i told you guys i wore it with that suit that i got the um, black shorts and the blazer suit I wore it with these combat boots and it was raining, but I was super comfortable. These are very durable and they just are perfect. And they always get compliments. Every time I wear these, someone tells me, oh my gosh, I love your boots. And they weren't like expensive. So I'm really happy with these. I feel like they're gonna be in my wardrobe for like years. These are really good boots. And then for a bag, I'm just wearing my Burberry reversible tote. I recently found the black one available on Fashion File, so if it's still available, I'll link it in the description box. I think this one might be discontinued. I haven't been able to find it online, but I'll do my best. I'll search it out and see what I can come up with. But yeah, any tote that you have is going to work. Any black bag that you have is going to work. Just see what you guys have in your wardrobes and see how you can switch things out because I'm sure a lot of you probably have a sweater vest in the back of your closet that you haven't worn in a while. Put it together with a long sleeve shirt and see what you can come up with. But I love this outfit. It's a very simple look, but the color combinations I think are really fun. I mean, it is basic black, but this sweater vest, the color of the sweater vest is a color that I have kind of been into lately. More of these sort of shades have been really interesting and they're really great for fall. So love this look. What do you guys think? So I throw on my patent leather trench. This one is by the brand Leith from Nordstrom. 
This one isn't available anymore, but I did see some on ASOS, so I'm gonna link some of those in the description box or wherever else I can find them. But basically this trench is working out because of the color. I really love the way this olive looks with this sort of like maroon shade of the of the sweater it's a really nice combination so it doesn't have to be a patent leather trench even if you have an olive colored coat or you can just do black you can keep things simple you don't have to do the different color combinations like i'm showing you here but it's just a lot of fun to play around with different color combinations especially since they're neutral you can have like a little bit more fun but you don't have to go overboard or too crazy or outside of your comfort zone like i was speaking about earlier when i was talking about the patterns Sticking to neutrals gives you a lot more variety and it helps you create that capsule wardrobe so you can really interchange the pieces and reach for the same items over and over again. And because you can interchange them so frequently, you feel like you're having a bunch of new outfits every time, you know? So this is the next look I wanted to show you guys, styling these shoes. These are the Gianni Beanie shoes from Dillers. And then I'm wearing my newest pair of cheeky straight jeans from The Gap. They have the paint splatters on them, light distressing. A fun pair of jeans, but not too much distressing. You know how sometimes distressing can go a little crazy, which I love that too, but sometimes you just want a pair that has like minimal distressing because over time the, the actual rips and tears, they get bigger anyway, you know? So it's nice to have a few pair that don't have, like like my dad jeans from Topshop, they have huge like um, holes in the knees. And over time, they just get bigger and bigger. So I like to start off sometimes with just a little bit smaller amounts of distressing. And then my top is a basic white button-up shirt. Very classic. But what's so fun about this look is how I'm going to be able to switch it up. So for me, I would totally wear a pair of chandelier earrings in the middle of the day. I think it's totally fine. If I was going into the office, I would only do this if I had a very creative office job. Um, I guess most corporate companies are a little bit more on the conservative side. So if that's the case, you can just throw on a pair of like studs, post earrings, pearls, something more simple and understated. But this is a lot of fun. Or you can switch out for these earrings if you were doing something after work. So you can throw on these chandelier earrings. And then I'm wearing it with this box bag. This looks very daytime. Even though I still have on the chandelier earrings, it's very daytime and it's a lot of fun, but I can switch it up completely. So you can carry this little Gucci wallet on a chain and then you can throw that in your trunk and you got yourself a whole nother look. This one looks more like let's go to brunch, let's have cocktails, let's do something else after work. You know, a lady who lunches. I really like that vibe. This is so cute and I'm kind of obsessed with it. I was also thinking that maybe I could just put it on like here if I do like a half tuck and then put this on my waist. That could be cute too. So you can have a lot of fun with this. But I know some of you picked this up when I showed it like earlier on um, in the year, in 2020. <laughs> when I showed it earlier in 2020, I know some of you picked this up. But I really love it because I can wear it as like an actual handbag. And it's so cute with a lot of looks, a lot of fun. And I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this as the weather warms up even more. Because, you know, you tend to carry less stuff. At least I do when the weather warms up. So here's the next look I have for you guys, and I love this. It's a simple all black outfit, and you can't really go wrong with all black, especially if the pieces fit well. These shoes I got from uh, Dillard's or Belk, but I've had them for a really long time. They're by French Connection. Absolutely obsessed, love these. And what I like about these shoes with this outfit is that they have a pointy toe. Um, so if you have any kind of a metallic shoe, or even just a black pointed toe shoe, you can do a sandal here. You have a lot of options with a wide leg pant. But I love these. I recently got them from Express and they're just really flattering. They have a nice flow to them. And I had to get them tailored. I went up a size in them so they can just like flow really nicely because I was especially worried about the pleating in the front and how it might call too much attention to my hips or the pleats might pull too much. But when I went up a size and I got the waist taken in, they look really great, very flattering. And I got them tailored in a way that I can wear them with a flat or a heel if I wanted to. So I love that. And then on top, I'm wearing this bomber that I got from Zara ages ago. I actually have never worn it. I recently just popped the tags on it. And this look was kind of inspired by a, um, a look that I saw on Banana Republic's website. They had a bomber sim very similar to this one and then a pair of joggers. And I was like, oh, let me try that out. It didn't work with the joggers that I had, but it looked really nice with these um, pants from Express. So I'm really feeling this outfit. And then I just did silver accents, the metallics. I have on my chandelier earrings from J. Crew. 
this is a Rebecca Minkoff bag and I'm really having a lot of fun with the way everything looks really bold but it's still very understated in my opinion because it is an all black outfit so it's kind of the base and then you have all these really nice fun um, metallics and then I'm wearing some gold bangles so I do did do a mix of gold and silver and then I have on this um, silver and gold ring from Zara which kind of just ties everything together so overall a very fun outfit and like I said before, if any of these pieces are just not your style or you feel like it's just too much for daytime or whatever it is, you can just switch things out and make it more your vibe, you know? So just see what you have in your closet and see how you can make this work for you. Here's the last look that I have for you guys. And I love this one. It's a lot of fun, but it's still very neutral. The top is an oversized knitted sweatshirt that I got from Zara. It has sort of an unfinished hem on the sleeves and at the bottom. I love that. And because it is so oversized, I can wear it as a dress, but it is on the shorter side. So I decided to pair it with these opaque tights that I got from Nordstrom. It's by the brand Halogen. And I love these because they have some great browns and caramels and even a little bit of navy going through it. So they're really easy to style. And then I'm wearing my Aquatalia suede boots. I love these. You guys have seen these a ton because I can wear these in the rain, in the snow. They're weatherproof and I love them. They're comfortable. They have a little bit of like stretchy material on the back, that elastic band in the back. So if you have a wider calf, they'll still be really good for you. They seem to always have them at Nordstrom Rack. So I'll link whatever they have right now in the description box. So make sure you guys check there. And then I'm wearing my Saint Laurent belt bag. And then I have my Zara scarf tied around it just for a fun accessory. And it kind of like plays in all the colors and ties in everything from the tights, the bag, and pulls everything all together. So I love that. What do you guys think? This is really sporty, a lot of fun. And this isn't something I would wear into the office, but I would totally wear this on the weekend, working from home, you know, on my own time. I would wear this. Love it. So comfortable. What do you guys think? And if for some reason you were uncomfortable with doing a uh, tight, you could do a pair of leggings. A pair of jeans like a pair of skinny jeans that could work as well um you can even do shorts under here like if it wasn't if it's not like really cold wherever you are you can do a pair of shorts under here and a boot and just have like a little bit of skin showing in the middle that could be cute as well so you can play around with this and have a lot of fun i like this um sweatshirt a lot these oversized knit sweatshirts because i like sporty looks but i like to glam them up a little bit because it just takes it to another level and it's still really comfortable. You guys know I love the comfortable outfits. Like I love all the comfortable looks. <laughs> So that's it for another Outfits of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And it's actually been a little bit warm where I live, so my outfits are transitioning, I feel like, into warmer weather outfits. I think that might be it for me as far as shopping for winter stuff. Let me know in the comments where you guys are. Are you still picking up like winter pieces or are you like looking out for what's gonna come for the spring, summer? You know, who knows what kind of spring and summer we're gonna have, but hopefully it's gonna be a good one, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite. I'd love to chat with you guys about that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and check out that description box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.